Hi, I'm Dylan Blaylock with Clackamas County, here today with Clackamas County Commissioner Paul Savas. Thanks much for joining us. Today we are going to be talking about internet connectivity and broadband in the county. And I'd like to start out by pointing out that Performance Clackamas, which is the county's overarching strategic plan, outlines 10 large strategic goals that help guide the entire mission of the county. One of those goals is that by 2026, 100% of county residents and businesses where served will have access to safe and affordable infrastructure, which includes broadband services. Christopher Savas, why is this issue of broadband and, and high-speed internet so important, such a big deal to the county and its residents? Well, now more than ever, with the advent of COVID, we've learned that when schools shut down, we need to somehow educate our kids. And right now, um, you know, Internet has been a, a great tool for getting kids to, to learn at home. Um, also, medicine and going to the doctor. So now you can get counseling and doctor's visits at home. And for uh, during this lockdown, it's been extremely important. And it seems to be a wave that, of things to come. So um, it has been on our radar for a long, long time. And this has really just really propelled us to put more attention towards it. Excellent. And what is Clackamas Broadband Exchange, also known as CBX? Well, basically about 12 years ago, we got a, a, a grant, federal grant to build a fiber loop around the county. And we have opportunities to connect that loop so that we have greater internet service um, and broadband connections. And so we've been hooking up schools, we've been hooking up libraries, uh, 97 schools actually, um, K through 12 schools, three colleges, um, 14 libraries, 25 fire stations, and 13 um, state of Oregon utilities. So uh, for a savings about $1.7 million for public institutions. So that's, that's, that's big, that's important. That's excellent, it touches a lot of places, obviously. Does the, is this used, is taxpayer money used for this? Does the county use any like general fund or taxpayer money to pay for CBX? Well, it's kind of a win-win um, because um, this program pays for itself. It's self-sustaining, we carve out a little bit of revenue to make sure we can support the program. So it, no, we don't use any general fund tax dollars. It is self-sustaining. Excellent. Now let's talk about the future of broadband expansion here in the county. There's still a lot of rural areas that uh, need you know, better service, better high-speed internet service, but the Board of County Commissioners has been committing itself to investing in broadband expansion through ARPA, or the American Rescue Plan Act. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the, so uh, broadband was specifically spelled out in that legislation, so we are able to capitalize on that, and we're making a pretty significant investment with those ARPA dollars to launch and spread out internet service where it's either weak or there's none. So that's typically the rural areas like Estacada, Molino, um, outskirts of Sandy and so forth in our, in our rural areas. Excellent. Well, I want to thank you for joining, uh, joining us today and we'll have some more information about both the ARPA dollars and how we're spending them and Clackamas Broadband Exchange in this post. So for Commissioner Paul Savas, I'm Dylan Blaylock. Thanks very much.